Okay, Max, if it's offered, should the Texans take the Panthers deal? No, they shouldn't. And let me first say that Tepper, David Tepper, the owner of the, uh, of, of the Panthers, is right on the money here. Like, I take my hat off to him. They were good when he bought them, right? When he took over, they had a good coach and a good quarterback in Ron Rivera and Cam Newton. He said, yeah, we're good. I want to be great. I want to see if we can't do better. And he sees Deshaun Watson. He's like, I, I, I don't care. We need to do everything we can to get Deshaun. My hat's off to him. It's the right idea. But I don't think the deal is going to be the best deal they're offered, Stephen A. Three firsts and Christian McCaffrey. McCaffrey is an amazing player. And he's more than just a running back, but that is the position he plays. And you have to be careful when you overpay for running backs, both in terms of draft capital and contract you give him. He's coming off a big injury, and he has a big contract. So that's one of the things you're getting back. And then you're getting three firsts. Well, is that the best offer they're going to get? Stephen A., you know what Miami can offer them? Miami's picking third and 18th in the first round this year. And... They have Tua Tungavailoa, who, were he coming out of the draft this year, would probably be the second quarterback taken, I think. And then they have a draft, you know, first rounder next year. The Jets, Stephen A., have two firsts this year and two firsts next year and two thirds this year. The Jets and the Dolphins are going to be in a position to offer the Texans a better deal than the one currently on the table, apparently, from the Panthers. So I don't think the Texans should take this one. I'm not going to say no definitively. I get where you're coming from, and for the most part, I agree with you, if that were the case. But we don't know uh, what the Jets are willing to offer, what the Miami Dolphins are willing to offer. We hear a lot of noise, but we don't know. And if I'm the Houston Texans, I have to listen. And here's why I have to listen, Max. Because not only does that th those three first-round picks includes the number eight overall pick coming up in this draft, but it also includes Christian McCaffrey. And we have to remember what a stud this brother is. He is something special. He Make no mistake about it. And when you have a guy like him that's an all-world back, he's not a one-dimensional player. He can run. He can catch passes out of the backfield. You know what I'm saying? You could put him in a slot. He could make things happen. This brother is that gifted. Christian McCaffrey is an NFL star. Let's not forget that. And when I look at it from that perspective, and I'm talking about getting three picks along with him, certainly if you're the New York Jets and you offer something when you've got the number two overall pick, that changes things. Certainly if you're the Miami Dolphins, all right, with the year that they've had, they're on a come up. You've got you've got a, a high picks to offer as well, not to mention Tua Tungavaloa if you wanted to throw him in there. Yeah, I got to think about that, and that's probably better. But barring that, I don't know if I can get much better than what the Carolina Panthers may be in a position to offer me. I think the hiccup is that, remember, Deshaun Watson's got a no-trade clause, and he has to sign off on these things, just like Houston does. And I don't know if he'd sign off on Carolina, but if he were to be willing to do that, I would certainly consider that uh, if I'm the Houston Texans because Christian McCaffrey is a part of that deal. You know, the thing is, the Panthers were, you know, it's been reported, like, and, and people have speculated, what would it take for Carolina to trade up to grab Miami's number three pick, right? They would do the second rounder, or next year's first rounder, because then they could grab a quarterback, Zach Wilson or whomever, that they really like. So, th so that draft capital, because they have the eighth pick, which is good, but obviously not as good as the third, that draft capital would be spent just to get that, their quarterback, who who knows if he'll ever be half as good as Deshaun Watson. But Miami is sitting there with a third overall pick already. And the thing about the no trade that you bring up, Stephen A., is usually if you're Deshaun Watson, you're like, I don't want to go to that team. They stink. That's why they're drafting third overall. But, but the Dolphins are kind of loaded. The Dolphins are a really good team. They have the third pick because of a trade. So they're unlike the Jets. They're not, they're not a moribund franchise, as you would say, right? They are a strong, rising franchise in a warm weather state, right? You bring up the fact with no state in, in a league taxes. without African-American coaches no state income and tax. GMs, and there's, just keep ticking it off with no state income tax. Why would he not say, yeah, with a no trade clause, yeah, I want to be traded there. And the fact that they got the number three pick and the QB, who'd probably be the second one taken, and more draft capital, it just seems to me like, you, like what, what really the Texans have to do is find out 
do the Dolphins want to trade for Deshaun Watson? Because if they do, you got to say no to the Panthers. They can't well, offer you as here's, much. Here's, and by the way, the, who knows if Deshaun would say yes? Here's the biggest reason you should say no to the Panthers if you were going to say no. You should say no to the Panthers if you're Deshaun Watson. Maybe not the Houston Texans, but definitely if you're Deshaun Watson. Here's why. Because I want to go and play with Christian McCaffrey. I don't want to arrive there at the expense of him leaving. That's really the biggest problem. You want Christian McCaffrey there with you, and that's not going to work. So, again, I'm not disagreeing. I think that the Jets and the Miami Dolphins are in a much better position to offer a better deal than the Carolina Panthers. I'm just saying we're not hearing that definitively that they're going to make those offers, particularly if you're the Miami Dolphins. And if that's not what the situation is, then I got to leave my options open if I'm the Texans. And three first-round picks plus Christian McCaffrey is not a bad deal. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.